In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a free pop-up on your 3D cart store to collect email addresses to jumpstart your email marketing. If you didn't know by now, I'm a huge fan of email marketing. The biggest names in the world from Amazon to Apple to Starbucks use email marketing on a daily basis. And in fact, global consulting firm McKinsey found that email marketing is 40 times more effective than Facebook and Twitter combined. Now, one of the best ways to collect email addresses is to have a pop-up on your website that gives reader an incentive to give you their email address. Now, I normally accomplish this either with a coupon code like 10% off your first order or something like a free ebook to get people started in their journey to using your product. Now, I know some of you are going to say, I hate pop ups. You know what? Everybody hates pop ups. I've yet to meet one person who says they love pop ups. But do you know why people use them? They use them because they work. But for you hardcore people out there, don't worry. I'm going to show you an alternative to the pop-up you can use as well. So go. let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started with the pop-up, we have to prepare our email marketing system. Now, for this video, I'm going to use MailChimp to show you how to work, how this works. But the free pop-up works with MailChimp, AWeber, GetResponse, and a host of others. And when we're getting it set up, I'll show you all the different ones that they use. Now, 3D Cart has its own newsletter system, but I haven't figured out a way to integrate it with what I'm going to do here. But it is it is possible for you to collect those email addresses and just upload them individually into 3D Cart's email marketing system. But I'll be honest. Just to save on bandwidth alone, and because they're ready designed to do this, I would just use a third-party system like MailChimp or AWeber or GetResponse or whichever one you want to do. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna log in here. And so we're in the back end right now. And one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a list. And I'm gonna create this list. And I'm gonna call it my 3D cart list. And it's gonna be Chris at online storehelp.com. Chris, and um, you got a coupon from us. Save that. So we have our list now. So the other thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to look at our list here and we want to go into our sign up form. So there are multiple ways of doing this. So if we're going to use a coupon code, which we want to do here, and I'm going to show you two different ways. You can do this with a um, with a free ebook as well. But let's say we do the coupon form and we come into our general form so that when people sign up, they get, you know, normally you have a list here. Um, and then they get a sign up thank you page that says uh, you need to confirm your email address, which is great. And then the confirmation thank you page. And in the confirmation thank you page is where we can put things like, um, thank you for subscribing. Here is your coupon code. And we'll call it February 10, 456 and I put this 456 here so people can't game the system and then every month what you can do is you can come in here and change what the coupon code is so I'm just going to copy that save and close now one of the things you could do right if you had an ebook you can actually upload that ebook and then send them to this page here right instead of having this confirmation page but now that we have that we need to come over here all right, and I'm in the dashboard of my test account here. And we're gonna come into marketing and we're gonna come into promotions, which should be in here somewhere. Promotion manager. And we're gonna add a new promotion. I'm gonna call this February 10% off. Get 10% off your purchase today. All right, we're gonna start this on, um, January 31st, 
we're going to end it on March 1st and we copied this over here I'm sorry it's a coupon promo there's your coupon promo and the discount is 10% and we're gonna add this promotion and then what we can do as well is right we want to enable it and then we're also going to come into here to look at some of our rules so we're going to make this non stackable and it only allows one time per customer right but you can do you know 20,000 you know if you think you're going to get that much traffic which would be great and we save and now we're done so we have our email set up and we have our discount code set up so now we got to go get our pop-up and what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to sumo me dot com right and what we'll do we'll do 3d cart test site dot com right and I'm gonna click try it now and so what you'll do is you'll want to set up set it up so I'm gonna just do 3d cart test at gmail.com and it's gonna be password one two three four and this this won't work and I'll or change it later on Right, and we're going to sign up. And what this is going to do, this is going to give us this little bit of code right here. And you can see they have it for some of these other carts. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. And we're going to come into the store here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to this content tab. And we're going to come to the header and footer. And where we need to do, if you look at this, it will tell you we need to copy and paste the following into the head of the HTML. Right, And so we want to engage this global header. We want to turn that on. But see that button there, which a lot of you are going to hit? I, don't do that one. You need to actually, um, there's a code section here. We click it in there. We paste it and apply it and hit OK. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and view our store. And then make sure. Oh, need to save that. And let's go ahead. And you see this little spot right up here, right? And so, if we go ahead and log in with our email address, which was 3D Cart Test. Okay, so we're in the store right now, All right? So we're in the, we want to come into the store and the first thing we want to do is we want to grab this list builder plugin. All right. And this is what our pop-up is, right? And so we just want the free one right now. And they actually do have a paid one. And I'm not saying it's, it's, it's not worthwhile. It actually probably is in the long term, but on the short term here, we just want to use uh, the free one to get started. But you know they have different ones you can do and um, so come to the list builder and we want to open it right and you can see they have uh, pro pro sumo me pro but I'm just gonna click with the standard one right now right and as you can see you can collect the email addresses and pull them out of here if you need to and actually download them as CSV but what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into the design here and what they have is these are all part of the pro version, right? Um, and they have a bunch of different ones, right, that are part of pro. But just using the default will work just fine as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to style it. Get 10% off today when you give us an email address and then we can change things around we can change the background color to let's say green on the button right we can even change we can say give me my coupon 
And in the success header, I'm gonna say, check your email, click the link, and we will send you a coupon code. Now, what we can also do is, if we want to center this right through here, we just type in center in between these little tags here, and that will center it as well. Um, and you can change a lot of things. You can change the, the background here. You can make it more white if you want to. And then essentially, you need to save this. So now that you have the pop-up saved, right, because this is what it will look like, um, we need the fields you can't use, you can only use that in the pro. And then we're gonna look at behavior. So what smart tells us to do, what smart will do is it'll actually do an exit intent. So if someone is on your store and decides they're going to leave, it will pop up for them. Other words, you can do it manual right and display after so many seconds. Uh, but smart is really the way to do it. And then I don't show this, you can do it for one month. I like 14 days, all right? So you don't want it popping up all the time, right? Uh, display rules, oops, gotta save it before we change the tab, sorry. Display rules, right, you can play around with this. A-B test is part of the pro, you can test different different headlines. Um, but what we wanna do is we want to add in our service. So we're using MailChimp, but you can see it uses all these different platforms, right? And there's tons of them from ConvertKit to Entreport, which is more expensive, to Infusionsoft, which is expensive, to Aweber and MailChimp. I use both of those as well. Get Response is another good one. And the beauty about this as well, oh, uh, Clavio, which is e-commerce related email marketing, something to check out. Um, but what's really cool is even if these aren't integrated with 3D Cart, you can actually still use them on the site because of this. And they have some advanced things here too. You can do some custom form HTML and tracking pixels, which are part of the pro. But either way, save, right? We're, we're, we're done there, right? One of the things we need to come in here, come back into List Builder. We never signed up for our service. So you click the MailChimp here and we're gonna connect. Right, and then we're gonna choose the list that we wanna use. Which should be the 3D cart list. And we can disable this. I like it, because then it really proves that people are who they said they are. And save. Right, and just like that, you now have a pop-up that will show up on your site. So let's see what happens when I close this out. We close this out, and let's see if we can get it to pop up here. Right, there it goes, it popped up right here. I mean, we can change this around, so um, this is one of the great ways of doing it. So in this next portion here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a alternative to the pop-up, um, because I know a lot of people are just so against pop-up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here into Sumo Me, right, we're gonna come into the store, Right, and instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what's called a scroll box, right? It's free again, they have different ones you can have. We're gonna go into open. Again, we're gonna continue with free, right? And let's go into the design. And so um, what a scroll box instead will do, right? And we can change all this as well. Get your coupon. today, right? right? And we can save this behavior. So what I'm gonna do is, so you can see this is a trigger percentage. So what happens is, as you scroll down the site, once you get 40% down, this will slide up in the right. So it's a little bit less intrusive, right? Um, and I like, you know, I save it up and down, you can do, in from the side, if you wanna do that, and bottom right. And you gotta save every time. Display rules, 
uh, you can tell it to not show different ones. And again, we have our services. It's MailChimp again. We want to do our 3D cart list and save that. And so let's see if I can get it to pop for us. So, right, so if I, there we go. And it pulls in from the side or it can come up from the top. So this is another way to be able to get that email address in and to draw people's attention. And the beauty is when you've actually signed up for this, there's a lot of other things you can include in it as well. So you come into the Sumo store, they have a smart bar, which will have a bar across the top, um, connecting your Google Analytics for free. They have things like content analytics. And what I like, they have a contact form. Uh, there is this share, right? And this will provide this little sidebar of share button. So we hit free, open it, right? Again, we're sticking with the free, right? And do settings here. You can see which ones you want to be on there. You can do your layout, where it is on mobile versus where it is on the on here. Um, these are some pro feature, right? You can put your username in there and use tracking as well as the URL shortener if you wanted to as well. But if we save this and we close out and you notice it's now over here. And so this is just kind of one of the free things you can have in here. And you can see there are a lot a lot of different things you can have. Uh, welcome Ad is another one that I like as well. Um, but either way, it's a great way to draw attention to your email so that you can continue marketing with everyone. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and like or go ahead and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get more great videos about your e-commerce journey.